Hey guys, today's video is about how to create a slice text effect in Affinity Designer, as you can see right here. And we're using Affinity Designer version 2 and a new knife tool right here for this. So to start, we need a new clean document and we need to create a text. So we're going to artistic text tool right here and writing, for example, um, sliced, making it bigger so we can read it and, uh, good enough, uh, mark the text and choose a font you want. I've chosen Mozzarella and extra bold using the move tool right here and center our text by having snapping activated. And what we have to do now is to go to convert to curves, then ungroup with command shift and G. You can use um, control instead of command for every command I'm using when you're using a Windows PC. And after that, all of them are still selected and group them. So we have one curve because I like to work with curves. I'm always doing this or nearly always. And what we have to do now is we have to select the new knife tool we find right here in the toolbar, or you can press um, the um, shortcut you see in on your keyboard, selecting the knife tool. And after that, selecting what we want to cut. So our curve uh, curve right here, the sliced text. And what we have to do now is we have to press control and move our knife tool and adjust how we want to cut, for example, like this. And then um, leave it and we have our first cut. And then again, go a little bit to the top. Again, hold down control and um, move your cursor till you have um, nearly the same cut line like this, for example. And again, um, after cutting, we have now all of the pieces. What we have to do now is we have to use, uh, use the node tool we find right here. You can also press A on your keyboard as shortcut as seen below and pressing no tool. Now select the first part we've uh, sliced and hold down shift select the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, and the next one. And then we can, um, by geometry, add those um, curves to one curve and zoom in maybe a little bit so it's uh, easier to see. And again, start with the next part with this one, hold down shift and select with the node tool all of the parts and go to right here, add. And again, with the bottom part and hold down shift, select go to add and we now have three curves. We see we missed one curve and that's in the middle line. So we can hold down this one and command with the middle line, which is right here and click add again to have it in the middle line. What we have to do now is we have to move the bottom layer to the bottom, the top middle layer to the middle and top layer to the top, which is done already. Now we need to give this text a cool color. So we're selecting all of the curves, curves by clicking the first curve and holding down shift and the last curve and giving a cool color, for example, like this one. And now we select the top curve. We go to quick FX. We go to outer shadow right here. And what we can do now is we pick black and opacity 50%, but that's up to you. You could also use a little bit um, softer shadow by using a darker tone of this color. And I'm using black for this now, but that's up to you. And radius, for example, 10, you can adjust it as you want, how you like it the most and offset, for example, also 10. And angle, I'm double clicking and selecting, for example, I think 290 seems to be good. Now go to layers. And now we have also a new feature in Affinity Designer version two. We can simply select this FX by clicking, holding and dragging to the bottom to adjust the same effects to the next um, layer. And also again with the bottom layer to have exactly the same effects. What we need to do now is we have to go to our move tool. We have to deselect snapping, zoom in a little bit, select the middle layer and move it a little bit to the left and down like this, for example. That's up to you as you want it to be. So you can adjust it according to your needs. And the same thing with the top layer like this, for example. This should be nearly the same as the middle layer compared to the bottom layer. 
maybe a little bit to the right again and we can zoom out and what we can do now to make it look even cooler we can select all of the curves by holding the first curve selecting shift and the last one and clicking command and g as said um, previously you can use control instead of Gym command um, if you're using windows pc and we can now add a quick fx to our whole um, slice text effect by going 50 opacity black and for example radius 30 30 and here offset 30 and 315 degrees angle and now we could also adjust our background color i liked um, it when it was nearly the same as our text so i went with the color picker tool right here got go uh, went to quick fx went to color overlay black and just a soft overlay of 10 percent or 15 and that's what i think looks really good but that's up to you we can now also resize the text without losing our effect so simply resize and by activating snapping again we can center it or by going to alignment yeah and that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye